Hi, my name is Giuseppe Marinacci and I'm a dentist with a holistic approach. Have you ever heard about mercury? So, what is mercury? Mercury is a liquid metal that naturally vaporizes into a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. What is wrong with mercury? It is the most poisonous non-radioactive substance on Earth. It is toxic in micrograms, while other heavy metals such as cadmium, lead and arsenic are toxic in milligrams, making mercury 100 times more toxic. That's the reason why there are no safe levels of mercury. Again, there are no safe levels of mercury. Most people in governments are aware of mercury toxicity. In fact, since 2001, many countries have banned mercury thermometers for medical use and doctors are telling pregnant women and nursing mothers to reduce their fish consumption because of its mercury content. So, what most people don't know about mercury? In 1991, the World Health Organization confirmed that dental amalgam fillings, usually called silver fillings, are the greatest source of human exposure to mercury in the general population. What? In fact, silver fillings are made up of about 50% mercury and 50% other metals um, such as silver, zinc, tin, and copper. What most dentists and dental organizations say about amalgam fillings? So they usually say amalgam fillings are safe and there is no release of mercury from them into the patient mouths. But what science says? Mercury continuously comes out of the fillings in the lethal vapor form. Any stimulation to the amalgam fillings, like chewing, grounding, brushing, or drinking hot drinks, increases the amount of mercury vapors emission. As you can see from these two experiments, an extracted tooth with an amalgam filling releases mercury vapors naturally. But when we stimulate the tooth with a toothbrush or with some hot water, the mercury vapors emission increases a lot. Mercury from the amalgam fillings enters the body and builds up over time. Mercury passes the placental barrier and accumulates in the fetus. Mercury passes to the newborn via breastfeeding. The amount of mercury in the brain is directly proportional to the number of amalgam fillings in the mouth. The mercury accumulation in the body can cause harmful effects to the kidneys and to the nervous, digestive, respiratory, immune and cardiovascular systems. The most common symptoms from mercury vapors exposure are irritability, insomnia, depression, anxiety, digestive problems, irregular heartbeat, blood pressure alterations, frequent headaches, tremors, allergies, joint pains, anemia, fatigue, and infertility. It is important to note that growth cones in all animal species, ranging from snails to humans, have identical structural and behavioral characteristics. In this experiment, neurons also isolated from snail brain tissue were grown in culture for several days after which very low concentrations of mercury were added to the culture medium for 20 minutes. Over the next 30 minutes, the neurite membrane underwent rapid degeneration, leaving behind the denuded neurofibrils seen here.
Should all amalgam fillings be removed in everyone? As there are no safe levels of mercury, I would say yes. I don't have any symptoms. Should I have my amalgam fillings removed? So maybe you don't have any symptoms, or maybe you have some hidden symptoms. But your body is impaired somehow, and it's not working as it should be. Moreover, you got used to your current level of body efficiency, and you don't really know how better you would feel after removing the mercury from your body. Can any dentist remove my mercury fillings? Absolutely not. Most dentists are not aware of the mercury issue and they would not use any protection for the patient during the removal. So be very careful because the largest amount of mercury vapors emission happens during its unsafe removal. And what this research that we're doing here visually shows is that when you drill on an amalgam filling that dramatically exposes the patient and the dentist and the dental technician to huge amounts of mercury vapor that enters the body. It's even worse than what they imagined. 2,483 micrograms per cubic meter, and um, I've never seen levels of mercury this high. That's pretty much unheard of in any type of work environment. Because it definitely shows, with just absolute fact, hard science, that amalgams, when they are heated with a drill by drilling on them, release copious amounts of mercury vapor into the air. A safe mercury fillings removal protocol is needed. In the last few years, many protocols have been developed in order to safely remove mercury fillings for both patients and dental teams. Most of these procedures reckon on sophisticated protective clothing to filter and reduce mercury vapors exposure during the removal. Our protocol has been developed focusing on the total aspiration of mercury vapors rather than on filtering them through spatial clothes or devices. The result is a simple and effective protocol very appreciated by our patients. Thank you for watching this video. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will be happy to give you an answer. Thank you.